Silly Sunim, Nova Drift. I feel like going for a weapon build today. But which one, which one? Haven't really focused on flak lately. We'll give it a try. Flak is generally a good go-to early game, but it does fall off in power, I think, later game. So let's get some mods to make it better. No, I'm not going to take Swarm. I'm not going to take Firefly. Do I want to research Viper? We'll try Viper. I don't usually use it. Do a little extra damage over time. The two weapon upgrades I am least interested in, truth be told. Let's try masochism here. Solar heart, maybe. Magnitude first. And blast radius. I'm not horribly interested in Splinter. Rate of fire increase could be useful, but I think I want the hull. Get some more blast radius. Do I want solar heart? I want to try it out. Twin Strike Knight is useful with flak. We're already firing enough projectiles, it's using what we have that we want to do, instead of adding more and more. Die, die, die. <sighs> Payload? Yes. I'll take the Juggernaut as well.
Singular Strike. Not until the uh, <laughs> not until the next patch drops. Uh, concentrate Blast, Antimatter Rounds. That is probably going to kill me. But I want to try it out. Burst Fire. Uh, force Armor, I'll take. Velocity and Rupture are both good, as would a rate of fire increase. I'll take the Rupture. I want to keep my shield. Don't know if I need stabilization. Don't want singular strike. Armor could be useful, but I think I want rapid fire here. Don't think there's anything else I want here, though. Guess maybe warpath. Though there's a good possibility I take charge shot, so maybe even rapid fire is not that useful. There's the antimatter rounds. I do take self damage when firing, but hopefully masochism will do a little bit of protection there. Yeah, could use the armor here. <laughs> Maybe even Gemini Protocol. Yeah, I think we want Gemini Protocol here as well. Well, there it is. But do I want it instead of the armor? I think I want the channeling even more. I want both eventually, but I think the channeling is more helpful. Or shielding, or velocity. I think I want the defense. Our offense is pretty powerful already.
not too shabby. Uh, absorption's fine. I may want Rancor. Of course, I have to get to Charge Shot before I get Rancor. Again, we're not horribly interested in Twin Strike here. In fact, if it weren't for Velocity, I would probably just winnow all of this. But I'll take the Velocity. It gives us more range on our shots. Effectively. And there's the charge shot. Do I want it? I think the answer is yes. Still not accustomed to that muzzle blast there. Do need to, uh, da da da. Dying Star. That could be interesting if we had some more Massachisms here. But I think I just want Rancor. Just take the Rancor. That was not the best piloting on my part. I don't want Rebuke. Do I want Corrosion? I do have modifiers to help burn damage, even though it is a 10% less weapon damage. I don't think I want Purification though. Could just take the shield cooldown. Let's take the shield cooldown. At the rate I'm using it, I could probably benefit greatly from some extra cooldown. No. You go away. I would enjoy Snipe, but I think I have to take Mastery here. Just that extra damage. Volatile Shields is fine.
These are the attacks, which makes me wish I had snipe. I don't think splinter's all that helpful. It might be, but I don't know. Boring old shield durability? Sure. Not too bad, not too bad. Do I want passive shield regeneration? If I take Gemini Procol, it wouldn't be that bad. Do I want corrosion? Does help me with crowd control. We'll try corrosion. Not a good combination of enemies. Right. We'll take the snipe. Do I want the hull plating? I think I do. Yeah, I'll take the Defiance. Also, more self-damage resistance. I might actually take a uh, Dying Star here. Be curious to see if it helps or hurts more. Hello, Scion. Get that muzzle blast in there. One of the nice effects of antimatter rounds is you get some solid damage from the muzzle blast no matter what. Very glad to see Snipe here. Very, very glad. Do we keep on with Incendiary Strike? We already have burn damage modifiers. Huh, what would I want here? Spontaneous Generation? Discharge is a no. Outrage Module, probably not either. 
Maelstrom's good. I'm thinking about Maelstrom. Maelstrom combined with Gemini Protocol can be especially fun. Keeps your shield up even longer. Seraph. Fancy meeting you here. This is when I am not quite as happy with the slowing effects. Of things like the charge shot and Rancor. Shield effect radius and power is not bad. I would probably do that in focus shields and weaponized shields. Yeah, I'm not taking it as much for the radius as for the shield effect power. Finally. Finally, finally, finally. <laughs> Maelstrom pulling in the ships. That always makes me grin a little. Okay, what now? What now? Omni Shield is a no. Uh, skirmish could be interesting, less for the crash damage as for the rate of fire and weapon damage. Probably not Essence Sap. I did say I might take Dying Star, do I want to still? We did have trouble fighting those little swarm craft. And we have one and two self damage resistance. Not a huge amount, that's what. 8 plus 4, so 12% less. Not a huge amount, but it's there. Also, more resistance to mobi mobility reducing effects from weapons. That's not nothing either. Could just take Galvanic. That's the safe option here. More shield damage resistance and effect power. As well as the discharge. That could have helped deal with the craft as well. Let's just go with the safe path for now. A lot of um a lot of damage we're taking here.
Okay, that wasn't too, 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 too horrible. We'll see if we can keep it up, though. I'm not counting on it. I'm not counting on it at all. Uh, don't do that. Thank you. Do I want Defiance again? <clears throat> or even Barrier? I think I want another Defiance. Just to be more safe. The Gemini Protocol again could be very handy here. Yet again, huh? It empowers an obvious no. I don't think I want regenerative shields, not without Gemini Protocol. Focus shields could be fine. Thank you very much, Comet. We get two, three of these waves combined. What's going on here? I could have dealt without four of these, that's for sure. I think it's time we just take the Gemini Protocol. We are very dependent on our shields, Maelstrom, that sort of thing, to help protect us. So keeping our shields up longer will probably be a good thing.
And that is why the corrosion and blast combination can be very handy. I want regenerative shields now, I think. But I think I want revelation and look for more defiances even more. help but notice but the enemy fire rate is increasing quite dramatically. No. Let's look for something better if we can. I'm tempted by that dying star. I am tempted. Orbs of Discord wouldn't be bad here. Ah, they just don't want to give it to me, huh? Do I just take Dying Star? Well, take it and pray for the best. I'll need to take purification then. But who knows, we'll see.
Yeah, Dying Star was not a good idea here. <laughs> not without more self-damage resistance. Yeah, probably should not have taken Dying Star without more self damage resistance. Ah, well. Still, made it to a million. Can't be too bad a run without it. Yeah, overall, pretty good. I haven't done a pure weapon build like that in a while, so it was nice to try it out. As ever, thank you all for stopping by.